Hello and welcome, I'm your host KB, and you're watching a retrospective quick hit. I've talked a lot about Hanna-Barbera on this channel, and that's because they're iconic in the world of animation, having created some of the most recognisable characters in the medium. Of these characters, the two most iconic families would have to be the Flintstones, the prehistoric family which first aired in 1960, and the Jetsons, the futuristic family which debuted shortly after in 1962. Now, I have love for both of these properties, but would have to say I always enjoyed the Jetsons just a little bit more. Both properties have had big screen adaptations, as well as multiple crossovers, so it makes sense that we would get a full featured crossover between these two beloved families. The movie's titled The Jetsons Meet the Flintstones and was a made for TV film which was released in 1987. The story sees both Fred and George struggling as they are fired from their respective workplaces. Are you suggesting I spy on him, Mr. Spacely? Either that or you're fired! But well, spying doesn't seem like such a bad suggestion when you put it that way, sir. While this is happening, young Elroy is working on a school project, a time machine, which when triggered, sends the Jetson family back in time to Bedrock, where they encounter the Flintstone family. Yeah! While attempting to retrieve the Jetsons from the past, Rosie and the handyman Henry create their own device and accidentally bring the Flintstones into the future. With the families swapped, here we get the most interesting aspect of the special, with both families trying to adjust to the different technology of their new environments. Elroy, uh, son? Oh, hi, Dad. Look at this. It takes whatever this green stuff is and chews it right up. After initial success for both families, they once again face struggles in their new timelines and wish to return home, but Elroy explains how the time machine is unable to be repaired. The time machine. You took such a beating on that last trip. There's no way to fix it. You mean we're stuck here in the jet age forever? If we live that long. We then get some weird explanation about how quadruponents turn the Flintstones' car into magic or something, and thus everyone is returned to their correct timelines. So, yeah, the story just really falls apart at the end. Oh boy! Bedrock, we're on our way! We can't wait to get home! Come on, John! The special is touted as Jetsons meet the Flintstones, and while fun, it is a bit of a letdown as the bulk of the feature sees each family involved in their own storyline, with them only really crossing paths in the feature's second act. It feels more like a mashup of two separate episodes rather than one cohesive feature. I think this is probably in part due to it being a direct-to-TV feature, and during this period of the 80s, Hanna-Barbera was pumping out a ton of features like this. So while it does still have the Hanna-Barbera feel about it production-wise, the writing is what holds it back, as I don't think it was quite the labour of love that you might expect from such a historic crossover. The feature would see multiple home video releases, with the most recent being the DVD release in 2017. While not a great special, it has a certain charm and is still quite fun to watch, so I would still recommend it to any Flintstones or Jetson fan who's looking for something a little different. Bye.
once again, thank you very much for watching. Please go and watch some of my older videos, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys next time.